So, Kim, what's your response to this news? Well, I think it's not before time. I think he, I think he, he realizes his position is untenable. I think he, you know, he's used common sense at last, and, and he's he's gone. Uh, it's the right thing to do. Mm. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, Kim. You, you've been on this morning, though, uh, and you've. I have. Uh, what was it like with working with him? Well, to tell you the truth, the confidence he had, you could tell he was king of the road on that show. I mean, he was really ruling the roost. And whenever I've been on with him, um, he hasn't been very pleasant. And he wasn't pleasant to me regarding my experience in Big Brother. He was darn right nasty. And he was literally laughing at me and sniggering at me. And I had the cheek to ask me, what did you earn? And I said... It's none of your business. What did you earn? Mm. What do you earn for this show? Not, it's not your business. So precisely, Philip. I said, keep your place. Um, I'm sorry. He, you know, he's used common sense and gone. The game's up. Everything's out about him. It's all been exposed. He's, he's gone. Now, the only thing I'm praying and hoping now is that the young Miss Holly Willoughby gets the common sense to go. Mm. Well, because she's not wanted. She is. She cannot continue. You think of Phil, you think of Holly. And she's all these years, she's worked with him. She's heard his rudeness in front of people. She's seen him on the sofa upsetting people. I would have appreciated on just one occasion, which has never happened, if she would ever turn around and say to Philip on that sofa as his co-presenter, Philip, oh, I think you're being a bit naughty. So she could put it nicely. I think you're being a bit naughty, this person. She has never once so up for somebody's upsetting. She sat there with a little silly grin on her face, a hand on his shoulder. Oh, Philip, that is not a presenter. She's not a good presenter. And if she thinks she can run that show without Philip, she can't. She needs to go. Well, obviously, she's, they're not here to defend themselves, but I, I'm, I, I'm a similar opinion to you. I think they've been on there for too long. They've sat on that sofa gathering dust for many years. It's time to give some other people a chance, Kim. Do you think that perhaps they should have gone sooner, though? Because remember Qgate? I mean, I was expecting them to leave then, but they managed to cling on. Well, I, they had clung on for many years. I was very shocked because the Queen of England was held in high regard. Our Queen Elizabeth II, we, we, she was a true queen, bless her. And I could not understand for the life of me when they both sneaked in wearing press tags, cutting across the grass, tiptoeing, mm. and people in queues in wheelchairs have been there six hours. And what Holly... Holly was saying and Phil was saying to the public is uh, we are very important we can sneak in which is um, which is precisely what they did it was rotten it was rotten to the people that they wa that watch them every morning it was there was nothing they were rotten saying we are Holly and Phil we can do what we like and you stand there getting soaked in your wheelchairs we're far too grand I'm surprised they didn't go then well, well, exactly, Kim. You would have thought they did, but as I said, they're not here to defend themselves. But, Kim, thank you so much for your thoughts. That's Kim oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank look you. Look forward to speaking, uh, speaking to you soon as well.